I just wanted to take a moment to uh, demonstrate something that I've been working on. It's, it's working finally, and I'm very excited. This is a cheap ESP32 board. I got it from Amazon for 10 bucks, but you can actually get these for 5 bucks if you order, you know, more than one. Just sort of like two or three, and you get them at like 5 bucks each. So think of it like a $5 board. And I've got a 5-volt uh, power supply coming in here, nothing special. <clears throat> and it's, po it's not powering the ESP32, but it is powering these WS2811 uh, pixel strip lights. And you can see I've got like a rainbow pattern going on here. But what's special about this is this thing boots up. Uh, it synchronizes with the with NT, NTP.org. You know, it synchronizes the clock. Then it connects to my MQTT service, which is on a server on my network, and it's on some host at LAN, which is actually this um, you know this desktop here, but it could be anywhere. It's actually going to run on a Raspberry Pi eventually, and. It listens on a particular channel that I've coded. So what this means is that I can con coordinate and control this and as many of these as I want out on my lawn for Christmas via the MQTT server. So I can write like a, a little MQTT client in Rust or Python and just have it schedule Christmas light changes according to, say, a music, um, you know, uh, timing, you know, whatever I want. So I could basically have holiday lights to music. And... It basically can do the same thing as one of those $200 Falcon boards, but in a $5 package. Uh, another nice thing about this is this is using the uh, ESP32's built-in remote RMT peripheral, and it offloads control of these LEDs to that little peripheral that's built into the, into the chip. And it can do up to eight strips. And I don't know how many LEDs it can do per strip, probably thousands. But in reality, you're probably going to be limited to about a thousand LEDs per strip. So I could there's 50 LEDs here, but I wouldn't put it past this thing to be able to handle at least 300. So just put like six or eight of these, maybe just chain, daisy chain together. As long as they've all got power, it should be able to control those. So eight times, you know, that many. <laughs> That's a lot of LEDs uh, that it that it can control with, you know, basically five dollars worth of board here. Uh, and you can coordinate it all with MQTT. So what I'm going to basically turn this into is a little... I'm going to put a whole bunch of effects on here, uh, like rainbow, and then I'll, I'm going to actually put them out in a grid, and I need to program that separately because FastLED is not going to work with this method for reasons I won't get into. But I just want to demonstrate, I've only got two things working. I've got rainbow and I've got blank. So let's. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish the blank message to this topic, which is you know one of the default topics that I was using for the code, and it should turn these lights off. Bam. Right, and be, so you can imagine that I could name this particular device like tree, because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a Christmas tree LED display. So I'll call it, um, you know, slash Christmas slash tree or something. And I'll just send probably JSON messages to it with a lot more details than just this one command. This is just a demonstration. Uh, and if I want to turn it back to rainbow, I can do that. And I did not send that directly to this. That was That happened over the Wi-Fi. And I think I still have the ping. Yes. That's the latency one can expect on Wi-Fi with these um, ESP32 boards. But I it just reset, but I think it's because I bumped this wire. And interesting that it kept pinging the whole time. So we got the rainbow going on, or did it really crash? It would be interesting if I pinged it and it crashed. Let's see, we'll send another rainbow. Yeah, it's fine. You gonna crash? No, yeah, like I said, I think I just bumped the wire which caused a reset, because they're not in the, um, this breadboard's not the greatest. <laughs> it's really old. It's been inserted a few too many times. Yeah. So I just thought I'd point this out. This is just my little pet project, and it's going really well. Uh, I'm very, very excited about it. It could change everything in terms of Christmas lights displays. <laughs> we shall see.